Screen tearing in Linux is the stuff of nightmares, and it's a pretty common occurrence no matter what graphics card you choose. AMD typically has the less of all, but that's just because AMD works so well on Linux. So we're going to talk about Intel, AMD, NVIDIA, all the different configurations we can do, all the different problem children we have from compositors down to uh, just X11 configurations. So let's get on the desktop and get into it. As with all my videos, there's a website guide here. We're gonna first stop into compositors. Now I'm using a window manager for this desktop, but uh, let's say you have Kwin, let's launch into it. From our system settings, we'll be able to go down into display and monitor, and then we can kind of look at compositor. The big thing here is full screen repaints. That's what you want. You can choose other stuff in here. Automatic is what it defaults to, but really I always recommend doing the, the repaints. It's gonna give a lot less tearing. Now, since this is a virtual machine, there's gonna be a little more tearing than usual. And usually what I like to do is just take a window like this. You can see a good bit of screen tearing. Not, nothing too crazy. Uh, if I pulled up like YouTube, you'd probably see a little bit there, but this helps in that where if you do like only when cheap and yeah, it's going to tear a lot more. You're going to see a lot more screen tearing when compared to the full repaints. The other thing is your display configuration. And I'm going to go into different versions of this, but the higher the resolution and the lower the refresh rate, the more pixels there is to draw, therefore the more tearing you're gonna have. So if let's say I wanted to reduce tearing a little bit and I'd reduce the resolution a bit, increase the refresh rate, if it supports it, you hit apply and you're gonna see, we're gonna get a little bit cleaner a little bit less screen tearing on movement. And if you're unsure on what resolutions and refresh rates you have, what I recommend is just launching into terminal and then from terminal, just type X Randar. And this is gonna spit out all the capable resolutions that we could put on here and then also all the refresh rates. So really kind of a cool tool to run just to see what all's capable of your monitor slash graphics configuration. Having said that, I'm gonna quit out of this. I just wanted to show a KDE variant and then I'm gonna show you my window manager variant. Back on our desktop, if you're using like a window manager or maybe even, even not a full blown desktop environment, typically you're using Compton or PyCom and they have a comp file. Uh, I have mine stored in my dot config folder and we can just vim into the pycom.conf if it's compton it'll be compton.conf pycom and compton are pretty much the same thing except pycom is newer packages compton has been uh de deprecated so just something to know now in here there's a lot of different settings you can do opacity and all the crazy stuff compositors do but the big thing we're looking for is just vsync and if we look down here under general settings you can see vsync equals true is pretty much what you want to do uh, to get less screen tearing. Now, the screen tearing in here is not awful. This is not a virtual machine, obviously, and we're going to see a lot less screen tearing. But let's say I go into here and we have the floating one. And when I come down, you can see it's pretty clean. Nothing too bad here on the screen tearing. We can make this look even smoother, though. The faster I go, and it's a pretty busy background, you can still kind of make out a little bit. But that's not it. We also have another section of the article about X11 configuration, and this is about enabling like tear-free mode for Intel and AMD. Now, I have some really fun tidbits. I did a, had a integrated Intel graphics and I had a bunch of screen tearing and there was a funny package. Uh, this was on every distribution I've installed from Arch to Debian to Ubuntu. All of them had this awful package on it. And uh, I think on Arch, it was x86, xorg, video Intel, but it was this video Intel package. And this is like a relic from yesteryear that no distribution's gotten rid of. I, I can't figure out why, but as soon as I set my X11 configuration, I started getting artifacting, all this nastiness on the screen. And then I removed this old Intel package that's from best I can tell is over a decade old and everything was fixed because all the graphics drivers, all that was getting pulled from the kernel and this package was messing everything up. So if you're running Intel and you do this and you start seeing artifacting everywhere, I was on a 12th gen Intel 
I had to remove that package. Otherwise, everything was borked. So I'm going to do this on the AMD because this is an AMD graphics card. And we're going to just improve our screen tearing here. So let's come into sudo. And we're going to go into actually CD into this directory just so I can explain the X11 directory a bit. Now, some people make the mistake of doing like a X xorg.conf file right here i highly recommend just doing xorg.conf d directory and then putting all your configurations in here so you can see i already have a monitor in here this is automatically always setting the target refresh at 120 when i'm not mirroring and always setting my preferred resolution at 1080p this means i never actually have to go into the display setting and change anything it just does it all for me. So let's add a new one. We're gonna add AMD into this section. Now you have to run this as super user or run as root. I highly recommend just doing this in sudo. And we're gonna just do 20-AMD-conf. And you can open this in any editor. Gedit is pretty easy. Nano is what a lot of people know. I'm obviously kind of a Vim, Vim fanboy, so that's what I'm gonna use. I'm gonna copy all these settings and I'm gonna paste that right here adding that tear free mode. Now, I think I might have misconfigured something. The problem with doing it through Xorg is if you do mistype something or didn't double check it, well, you're gonna have problems and your system won't actually boot into the graphics section because Xorg controls all the graphics, it renders them all. Uh, so what we can do is hold Alt, Control, and press like F2, and then we get a terminal. From here, I'm going to just go over to our uh, root user and then come over to etc x11. Take a look at our xorg.comp file. So what I'm going to do is just remove that AMD file and see if it boots now. Give it a reboot. See what happens. All right. So, yeah, it was a bad, bad configuration on that side of things. We're going to look at NVIDIA configuration real fast. Now, since I don't have an NVIDIA card, I can't show you 100 percent, but this article definitely can uh, just run NVIDIA dash settings from terminal or through a run command like that. And then once this pops up, run into X server display configuration in the top left and then just make sure you're enabling a uh, force full composition pipeline right over here. That's the only thing you need to check. So you check that, hit apply, and then you would save an X configuration file out. So just apply, save X configuration. That will require a uh, root password. It will prompt you for it if you didn't launch NVIDIA settings as sudo. So that's it, you reboot. Or if you just wanna do it through the CLI, you can just copy and paste this command directly into your terminal. Again, run that as sudo. Uh, you can try it out and then just see how your uh, screen tearing is. And that's gonna do it for screen tearing. One thing I didn't mention in this video is Wayland. Wayland is a lot better with screen tearing than Xorg. So maybe Wayland will finally get to there and bridge the gap and, and we'll finally start closing that. I've been saying that for years now. Hopefully we're finally getting somewhere with Wayland, but I still use Xorg just because all my tools, all my stuff still works well in Xorg, whether it's Barrier, Synergy, those don't work in Wayland. Uh, and using workarounds has not been fun. So uh, I hope to see Linux evolve a little bit in this realm, uh, but I think we're getting there. It's it's just one of those things I wanted to just showcase all the different methods to help you with screen tearing as so many Linux users suffer from this. And hopefully this kind of tells you where some of that back end is and how to do these tests just to make sure that uh, you have a tear free experience. And with that, I'll see you in the next one.